All right, so let's talk a little bit about percents. Um, I'm sure this symbol is familiar to you already. And uh, what I want you to be able to do is quickly be able to work with this symbol. It's called the percent sign. And uh, percent, which really means per 100. It's like saying 73 out of 100. How would you remember that 100? Well, the word cent, how many pennies or how many cents are in a dollar? There's 100. Uh, how many years are in a century? A hundred. How many feet does a centipede have? A hundred. Actually, I'm not sure if that's true, but it is a myth that I've grown to believe. But anyway, 73% written as a fraction is 73 out of a hundred. Okay? If you want to change this into a decimal, which is really important, especially when you want to find the percent of something, which we'll do a lot of later, um, you have to learn to change this into a percent. So you're going to go 73 divided by 100 on your calculator, and you're going to get this, 0 0.73. If you do this enough on your calculator, you realize you don't really need to use your calculator when you see something like this. Just say, hey, the decimal is right here. I need to move it over two places, one, two. Moving it over two places will give us 0 0.73, and uh, that's all you have to do when you're dividing by 100. Let's practice this on this one right here, 7.3%. It's a little trickier because it's 7.3%. Uh, it's like saying 7.3 out of 100, which is kind of weird. But if you do it on your calculator, 7.3 divided by that old 100 there, you end up getting this, 0 0.073. Okay, and remember, if you don't like using the calculator for changing a percent into a decimal like this, you just move the decimal over two places, 1, 2. And then you put the 0 there, and that's how you get the 0 0.073. All right, so that's how to change a percent into a decimal. I want to talk about uh, how do you change, like let's say on a test you get 36 out of 48, and you ask yourself, what percent did I get? I don't know what I got. So you just take your calculator, go 36, I'm doing it with you right now, divided by 48, and this is the decimal I just got on my calculator, 0 0.75. So if someone asks you what percent did you get, you wouldn't say 0 0.75. You actually have to go backwards or the opposite of what we just did on the other page. You'd move the decimal place over two places this way. Or you could times by 100, which is the opposite of what we did before, which was dividing by 100. And you're going to tell whoever wants to know and say, I got 75% on my test. All right, let's try one more. 52 divided by 55 on your calculator. I just got 0 0.9454, and it just keeps going on and on. 5454, four, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we actually want to round it off right here. So look beside the 4, you see a 5 there. And you might remember from the past that to round a number, this 5 is powerful enough to make this 4 become a 5 as well. So you would go 0 0.95. You can already basically tell what percent this is. You'd say, hey, it looks like a 95. But let's just remember our rule. Move the decimal over two places to the right, or you can times by 100. Sure enough, 95%. Very good.